What's up guys, first off, thank you for clicking this video and watches. I'm JP, one of the producers and the host of this show, Bus Scenes. This is our March episode where we go behind the scenes of everything that went down this month, including, yes, Dave Portnoy chewing us all out. You get the behind the scenes look with this video. So thank you for following along and enjoy this content. Welcome to my, uh, my office. A lot of y'all didn't know I moonlight as a psychiatrist. In this past month, not a whole lot of things have gone down, but the things that have gone down have been massive. And in this episode of Bus Scenes, I have a patient that will be sitting with me and we will be talking through everything he went through, everything he saw from his lens. Man, I don't know. It's just been a tough month. All right, yeah, so talk to me, tell me a little bit about that. First, the whole Dave and Buster's things with with Portnoy happen and Will and Taylor, they start trying to do damage control and then it leads to me faking being fired, which was very stressful and I had all these messages, my parents, my friends, my pets, they're all reaching out asking me what's going on, are you unemployed? I said no, not yet, but what are those checks looking like? Because I heard they're kind of, they're nice right now, but I did hear it's kind of nice to be homeless in California. They pay you, they give you the phone, but Anyways, yeah, yeah, continue. I don't know, man. Dave Portnoy, that stuff's, that was bothering me. Motherfuck Will Compton and Taylor Lewan. I fucking hate them. They can't do anything. Fuck them. They haven't replied to me yet. I fucking hate them, and I'm out of the Beer Olympics. That, that right there might be the, uh, did you send the video yet? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, when honey. Dave hits some of his rant and then it cuts to me, throw in that music or something. Hey, we're, we're on the ups. We're on the ups. You gotta remain. Look, oh, accountability baby. and optimism over excuses and dwelling. We're not gonna dwell. We're not gonna make excuses, even though I'll find ways to sneak them in there every now and then. But it's about taking responsibility. It's about having optimism that we will make content off of this. Which is what, which is what we got to do. Sure. It's what we have to do. God. Man, I was really Just reflective yesterday. Hard. But today I feel a little so rejuvenation. Hard. I feel a little more alive right now. Because with every failure comes opportunity. Just start going into a full TED talk. <laughs> at 10 o'clock, team meeting is at 10 o'clock today. It is currently 9.38 in the morning. Uh, basically everybody is here except for Jack and Taylor. I'm sure Jack will make in time. I bet Jack has like a little wetness in his hair like he just taken a shower because he probably just woke up not too long ago. And he'll kind of have like a, you know when somebody wakes up and within the first hour you can kind of see it in their face? He'll be in that middle gray area tier where he just got outside of that, but you can also tell he still, you know, woke up not that long ago. What's up, Ken? What's up, man? Watch what clip? The clip of us just getting berated by Dave? Yeah. Yeah, UAB was a great pick. It was a great pick. Like, yeah, listen. Is this my first time being yelled at by somebody? No. Like, I played football for half my life, and every day it's, you're a worthless piece of shit. Hey, that wasn't good enough. So, take ownership, take accountability, take a deep breath, fix the system a little bit, and keep moving forward. That's what we gotta do. You know, you can change yourself up here. It just takes a little couple of steps to make sure people see it too. We'll get there. Dave's gonna be back. Love him. You know, he's got a weird way of leadership, but I, I mess with it, kind of. I mess with it. How about you, boys? How do you guys feel, feel about that? It's a, uh, yeah, interesting day. We're getting back to the basics. Back to the basics, man. We'll be all right. We always gonna be all right. You have a team meeting? Yep. Computer deal? It's like a little Whoa. computer deal. <laughs> <laughs> and I can just pop it off too. Look at that. Now it's just an iPad. It there you go. It's that little computer. That's crazy, right? Wait, so you can use it as a computer and also an iPad? Yeah, so this is. Oh, now you're interested, <laughs> huh? You're interested? Yeah, because I'm joking. Oh, okay. I got fired up about it. I thought you were. Oh, like, yeah, you don't get it either, do you? Yeah, you're kind of interested now. <laughs> I really thought you were. I was like, all right, we'll get the ball on board. <laughs> Technology piece in the last year? I've actually had this we'll for two years. Can I just ask? I have a computer at the house. 
Yeah, why, why, why is it at the house? Because I just wanted to dive into this little deal. So is that going to be your new deal? I don't know. I'm, I'm working through deals. Uh, Barstool did a great event. Hashtag Dave and Busters. So we're going to go to Dave and Busters and just over deliver, over deliver, over deliver. Yeah, they, there's a certain budget that's with Busting with the Boys, but we want to do as much as we can to promote and push Dave and Busters. So what better way to do it than go to Dave and Busters? Boots on the ground. Shall we? Who wants to drive? You saw me tweeting? All right, you already know we're going to uh, DMV, so we got to lock in with Lucy. It's lock in Lucy type Let of me situation, get, boys. Yeah. Can I? <coughs> okay. Yo, the taste Bean? you first have when it gets in your mouth. Sometimes, hey, yeah. when things aren't going right, this could be the first step in making everything go a whole lot better. Spell. Red. Red. L S T E R. Hey, can you hear me? It's Lucy. Do you read me? Don't let your dreams be dreams. I've been trying to reach you for hours, Taylor. Welcome back to your enlightened form. Since your last visit, it appears you have ruffled a few feathers with your boss. Motherfuck Will Compton and Taylor One. They are the biggest fucking sons of cocks. Taylor, it is essential that Dave Portnoy competes at this year's Beer Olympics. The fate of the world depends on it. I've run some simulations on the matter and have calculated the best course of action. Would you care to see my new beta sequence? Ooh, locked. <laughs> what percent are you on, Will? Battery? Yeah. 78. Working. Time. What's going on? I said, how many times can one group of people spit in my fucking face? I fucking hate them, and I'm out of the beer Olympics. Fuck them. We can't do nothing right. <laughs> we can't do shit right in this place. I think it was JP. Yeah, no, I cut that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hashtag Dave and Busters? Skip working, come do this stuff. Taylor, what games are we gonna play? We're gonna do a little pop and shot. We're gonna do really whatever we want. Because the thing is, is people haven't really realized yet, is no one's really jumped in here and just left work like they should, because 86% of Americans pretend like they're working, when in reality, they're checking in on the brackets the entire time. We had open seats, we had a happy hour, we got games galore, we can do whatever we want here. So yeah, did we mess up? No question. Dave Porter with you now? Good. Get to work. Dude, I had four balls. Did y'all tie? Here we tie. You tie? Going OT, Stetson Yukon. Going OT, Stetson Yukon. Stetson! Good game, Stetson. Good job, UConn. Upset, upset in the century. UConn goes down. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag Dave and Busters. Who are you playing with? I got Peach. I didn't even know that, that was the last lap. How'd you do that? How'd you catch me? I was driving, trying to get in front of you and just drop the bomb. And I don't know, I just fucking... Somebody wanted it more than the other. Somebody wanted it more than the other. Boys, we are here on a Tuesday. The place is immaculate, it's amazing. And on April 8th, after 4 p.m., they got a big deal for you here at Dave & Buster's. All you can eat wings in a $10 power card, starting at just $22.99. Terms and conditions apply. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Interesting. So that gets figured out. What happens after that? Shortly after the, the Portnoy stuff, the hip drop 
tackle gets banned. And now flag football is going on and they're saying if the NFL might not be here anymore and in the Olympics it's gonna be flag football. So Delaney comes by to talk about that. So, I mean, that was, that was also stressful. I don't think you'll need to worry too much about that one. I feel like Kyle Long, he had a good piece on it. So don't stress out over that too much. The not for fun league, they'll, they'll take care of it. How's that make you feel, Will? What you say? You I know. I think it? it's ridiculous that it's being taken out, that it's being penalized. Honestly, it's football. I don't think you can tell a player, a, a defensive player, how to tackle. It's it's natural. He he's not trying to hip drop. He's just getting beat, and then he's trying to hold you by dragging you down. That's pretty much what it is. I don't think it should be taking out the game. But what they need to change is this: the level of where you can hit a player, because that's what's causing players to do the hip drop. Because now they coming down low, and once they get that little move. They do this yeah. right here, and then they just drag, they hold you to drag you down. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they should take it out. Football is getting soft by the day. If they keep doing this, we won't even be playing tackle football. I promise you, we're going to be flag football in the Olympics, and that's all we're going to be doing. He, I think we got to run the same with Delaney. Because that, that tackle, you broke your leg on it? Yeah, so the, the first game of the season against Miami it was a hip drop tackle that broke my leg. Pretty much took me out. Ended my career, hip, yeah. hip top, uh, hip drop tackle was yeah. that final say God. in Delaney Walker's career. They need to go ahead and run you some Delaney's more that not, money. Delaney's not wrong though. We were talking about it's not this very like you're gonna have this long stride, short stride, shoot. Your feet are gonna be hot. Like yeah. there's gonna be moments like where you are outside of your body and you get beat. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Like you beat me. I'm supposed to just run like this and what? Yeah, just like yeah, it ain't gonna keep happen. running with you to go it's, down it's and you get a few happen. more extra yards? It's not gonna happen that way. It's like, if, boom, if I'm like spotting, they say it's like third and seven, and I'm, I drop to the six, I'm like at seven. He catches it at four, four or five, like right in front of me. Yeah, then he I catches it like this. I catch it. Yeah, I and he goes, and then boom, I just come back down this way. I'm trying to keep him from yeah. getting. It is no way you can teach a player not the hip drop. Because it's, it's, not, it's nothing that can be taught because you're not in the situation until you're in the situation. Until you're in the situation. I literally, old buddy, I stiff-armed him. While I was stiff-arming him, he was holding on to my hand and my pants, and he just he fell back. He fell I'm back. I'm saying, like, say you're getting, say D hands going lateral. And yeah. You get, so you're chopping like, chopping. Yeah, he chopped. And, he he still, and then you're still, still going to try and, like, try God to damn. Me. And I'm still trying to pull him away. He just, he. you can see it on film, and I'm dug down like, damn. And I thought I rolled my ankle. Right. But when I turned that thing, I rolled my ankle. <laughs> she was dangling the other way. I'm like, ah! Okay. Broke it. I'm telling you right now, players ain't going to, they, they diving at your legs. It happens so fast. So fast. They diving at your legs now. It's just like, what can we do? Right. Yeah, pretty soon that will be uh, illegal. It's That's flag. what I said. It's going to be flag. No, no tripping. <laughs> it's flag football. I'm telling people right now, why you think it's in the Olympics? I hate to say that because I push football, this, this, that. But why do you think flag football is in the Olympics now? The long game. The long game, bruh. The <laughs> long game. We're going to be having flag football competitions, and that's going to be on TV after a while. Give them a couple more decades, and if flag football won't be around. Depends you don't who, think so? Well, it depends who the president is, who, whoever the president is. Yeah. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Uh, there's no way it gets somewhere tackle football is not a game anymore. I feel like flag football will be competitive and people want to watch it. But it's like now so many players is breaking their ankles with that tackle. You got to do something. I don't think it's changing that rule, but I think it's changing the box of where you can hit a player should change. I think you should be able to take their head off. Fuck it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Bro. Oh, yeah. And then Will and Taylor, they started playing. Is it okay if I sit up like this? By all means, hey, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. They start playing it. NCAA. I'll clean the couch later. Things start to get a little testy, but it doesn't seem like Taylor's very good, and that might be one of the reasons he went to Mexico, maybe missed the live show. A little Pac-12 matchup. Boys got to lock in. Garrett picked Pac-12. So we just pick teams. Fuck. I got Oregon, Wait. and Taylor has Stanford. You got CMC, yeah? No, I think it's I think it's Bryce Bryce Love. He, I got uh, Mar uh, Mariota. This might be a bloodbath. It might be. 
Will has been finding a huge stride in this game. I just continue to work for Hey, no way. Oh, we are skating! Oh! <laughs> there's a flag, there's a flag! Clipping! Hmm? I do need to see, I need to see a couple of things. Oh, you've been on it like this. No, I just want to, I just want to see, I just want to understand my depth chart. Because playing with Nebraska, like, I know all the boys. Oh, 98. Look at that speed. Quarter one, hurt six. That's the game plan. I got to see if you got CMC. Nope. Yeah, 22. Oh, that's CMC? Sophomore? Yeah. Oh, man, he's younger than I thought. He was 2016 draft. Yo, CMC, you are weak in NCAA 14. <laughs> I'll check back in. End of the quarter. Please don't. You kneeling it? No, I, I mean, you gave me this. <laughs> no, what the fuck was that? Um... So once they were done playing, did the NCAA football stop? What were the next steps? And then, yeah, ultimately oh, that led man. into uh, to Mitch. Mitch just starts dummying Will in NCAA football and Will screaming, his his vein is getting going. That vein is crazy. Exactly. You, you know you're talking vein about the I'm one right? About. Yes. Oh vein my was God. getting going. Man, a slice of apples, the peanut butter cup. 14 to zero. Watch out, Mitch. Try to tell him, Mitch. He said I need to beat Jack before I played him. <laughs> Relax, you got two deep bombs, bro. Is that the roll of 21 out skunk? Uh, any 21. Game over. Oh! 21. It's over. You played a good game, man. You played a good game. Is he better than you thought? He's good. Better than I thought. I, it wasn't like he was doing anything impressive. Yeah, he, had a, he truly had two deep balls. One, I mean, Sammy Watkins. Other blown coverage by the safety because I, I didn't click off of him in time. And then I literally threw one right to him. But it, it, I would say it wasn't, it wasn't, a, uh, it wasn't like a Will vs. Taylor beating. No, I, I'm going to be Ohio State now. He's going to be the best team in the game. They're not the best team. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. You go to their rosters, they're the most stacked team. They have like two guys in every top 15 and like in every position. Yeah, but look at the best team down there. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm telling you, they might not have depth, but as far as starters go, come on now. Your team is, is better than mine on, on, on the overall. It's 95-95 right now. You had the better team last game, yeah. You have but 99 now, now, offense and I have now 97. We'll see. Now we'll see. I had the better team last game? Yeah. You're Texas A&M with Johnny Manziel, Mike so, Evans. I'm talking about numbers. Ain't nobody in the game covering Sammy Watkins. Tell me, that's just a decade of rust. I'm just trying to knock it off. <laughs> All right, it's big right here, JP. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> That's just adaptation. You acting like that that play right before halftime wasn't luck. You are you lucky. Act, you you like are that play, lucky. You, like that you are luck. lucky you got that ball. You are, you're, you're acting like that play wasn't just luck right there. Are you kidding me? You're in man to man and you're just dropping the guys underneath. I'm working the outside because you are in man to man yeah. and he hasn't covered it all game. Vein alert, vein alert, vein alert. There it is again. I told y'all, man, the vein. The Will Compton vein right here. And the best part about this, the best part, Mitch is up by two points, or Mitch is up by two possessions, and you see that vein wheels in his face. You can't do all, all, all this stuff. It's always the loudest that are the weakest when it comes to the game. Remember that. He hit, he hit that back line and turned around also on the ball. Yeah, because timing. That's timing. If I throw that any He's sooner, not, any you, later to pick. You thought that was, he was not running Were you post. Were you a man to man? Were you a man to man? Yes, I was. Thank you. One stop. One stop, boys. We know. Oh, 
know you ain't gonna use me like I did you. You were scared to hit the user. Yeah, you. you you gotta, know, you gotta know you your strength. <laughs> you gotta know your strength. Hey, you can't it's switch like, off like in the big play. Yeah, you can. What that's you like playing all ball defense just did. in 2K. And look what it did for you. Just need one. Just need one. Oh, he in that mode now. Do you really need to call it the time out there? No. Why'd you do that? Four o'clock management. Yeah, that's bad. All right, all right, all right. I know, I know. Again, decade of rust. And don't forget, I've been going to the PT the last two days because of my low back. Decade of rust doesn't doesn't hurt. Decade of rust. Decade of rust. Decade of rust. Doesn't hurt. Decade time, of rust. Time management. Clock management. Oh my goodness! Oh <laughs> god! Oh! Yeah, there's some time. There's always time. There's always life. That was a He's about to go on a 10 play drive. You have 10 seconds left. <laughs> you had to stop me. I just scored in one play, Will. I know, I know. <laughs> that's just how that's just how the cookie crumbled, man. He scored right before half. I've, scored, I've ran eight less plays than you have. <laughs> that's just that's just explosive plays on your end. What you mean? You got no defense. So like Iowa. You like got no Iowa defense. Run, like runs the ball. I run the ball on you. I guarantee I will bet a lot. Where's your money. defense? I have a lot Where's more your defense? than you do. My defense comes up with stops when I need them. They stop no, you for they two. Don't. They stop you for two. They held you to a field goal. You talk like you was about to dog walk me. You got the best team in the game. And this is your game. You said you had to play, what, in three days? Pick. Ah! <laughs> I know you're sick, you can't 21 me. I know you're sick, you're losing right now. No, that, I mean, I was throwing up a prayer. You got to go for two. I was throwing up a prayer. I mean, that game right there was way closer than the score says. <laughs> Ain't nobody worried about that. <laughs> Ain't nobody worried put the, about put that Put the 50 score, burger bro. on him. Sack. <laughs> Come on, man. Bro, I'm trying to put up a fight, bro. What you want me to do? Three rushers. I want you to do you. I can't help that these motherfuckers can't block. We got to get new recruits. <laughs> just eating that cat up. User. Man, fuck, you got the best team in the game, bro. Here we go with this. You got the best excuse, team in the game. Excuses. Like, this shit is crazy. I played with what, Oregon twice? Oh. It's fucking Carlos Hyde, motherfucker, dude. He got my ass in the game, too. <gasps> you still a bitch. <laughs> See you tomorrow, same time. I gotta get in the lab. Do you want it? <laughs> oh, fuck! Still little bitches. Two score. That's all it is. What are you doing? Low score? Uh, 28 17. Seven in a row. 21 of them in the first quarter in the first game. And you were, who are you in this game? I was Penn State, who sucks in this game. And he was Nebraska. Then in the other game, I was UNC, and he was Florida. Solid player. I don't know if it'll happen, but I was going to say you'll get there. But. Get back to work, man. Is he better than you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and listen, the computer for this man is some of the most insane shit I've ever witnessed in my life. It's every call. He, it's like he's pressuring. It's like he's blitzing all 11 in a three-man rush. 
like he yeah Penn State was like five points less than Nebraska on like overall but it, these guys are like all stars you get a right white running back who's got like 99 speed Zach's win it. Yeah. That's like 83. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what's crazy to me. So he shouldn't be outrunning cats. He's not. He is. He wasn't. That was just bully ball. It no, it was not bully ball, dude. That shit was not even close to bully ball. I rushed the ball 25 times for 140 yards. I beat myself. That is what happened in that game. I threw a pick six in that game. Yeah, you ran almost every kickoff back. Yeah, because I'm not a pussy. Oh, oh, what a comeback right there. You're like you're going for a touchback. I'm making plays, taking it out to the 50 yard line. Every team you have, you for some reason are able to kick it to the back of the end zone. Every team you have, you kick it to the back of the end zone. You outrun every one of my guys. You fucking pressure with three guys. You're, you're I'm just saying, you got, and we always got to play on your profile for whatever reason. We always got to hate. We got to make sure we're on my profile. He's just wrong because you lost seven times in a row. I'm not mad, bro. Let's play again. <laughs> That's a murder, that's me oh, steaks. Oh, I'm gonna fucking eat the shit out of him. I'll get him one day. Get a death grip on those things. <laughs> He's choked out right now. Taylor. Boys, I will not be a part of April bus scenes and uh, the first part of this little spring tour. I am headed to Mexico. Can't really say what I'm doing, but I will say it was a massive opportunity. And so I will see you guys April 19th. That's all. That's all I have. See you, boys. See ya. I miss you guys. Miss you too, man. Okay. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. See you, amigo. Yeah, so it's just, this month, it hadn't been too much going on, but th those are the main things. All right, well, our time is pretty much up. I don't know if you have anything else for me. I think I'm good on my end. Uh, you all good? Yeah, no, I appreciate you having me. Appreciate you being open with everything. Thank and you. I'll see you next time, man. <laughs> yes, sir. That wraps up our session. The first time is free. The next time I'm charging you, because we all need to get that money. Twitter payments were delayed this month. We got to figure out different ways to make this money, different streams of income. But yes, thank you as always for watching the March episode of Bus Seeds. Thanks for the support through all the, the uh, fake firing stuff. Y'all know that killed me inside. But please make sure to leave the comments, subscribe to the channel. The comments have been amazing. It's given me more opportunity to get in front of the camera, which has given me more opportunity to do a whole bunch of other things, so I cannot say thank you enough. Please leave comments about the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.